Let's eat a fertilized chicken egg and duck egg. <laughs> oh, so hot. So this here is a fertilized duck egg. It's been trending lately on TikTok the past like month or two. And it's something that I've eaten in the past several times already. And the video always goes viral. But this is something that I've done before already. But I haven't eaten a fertilized chicken egg before in a video. I've eaten them before in the past, but I haven't made a video on it. So that's what we're going to do today. I actually have four eggs boiled. There you go. I have two duck eggs and two chicken eggs. So the person selling these eggs at the farmer's market said that uh, when we take them home, just to leave them out for about two days or so, so that the embryo actually grows a little bit bigger. Um, and it has been two days, but I have a ton more eggs. And I want to leave a small batch of them out for maybe five days total. He said not to go past five days, but I'm going to give it a try. So yeah, we're going to give this a try. I don't know how old this is. I just know that it's two days past when I purchased it. And I'm going to eat it how Vietnamese people eat it. We eat it with salt and pepper and then coriander leaves. These are Vietnamese coriander leaves. There you go. <laughs> this is awesome. Wow. All right, take a look at that. Yeah, this smells amazing. So what I do is take a little bit of salt and pepper and just put it on and break the membrane here. Oh, oh, you can see the, you can see the chicken. Okay, and there you go. You've got the liquid soup there. Ooh, that's so good. Oh, there's so much liquid in here. All right, now, so there you go. You can see the head off the right there. You might be able to see a little bit of the eye there. And there's the wing on the left side. Oh, and there's the beak. So I, normally I would take this and then dip my spoon in the salt and pepper like this. It'll stick to the bottom and just eat it. And then take a bite of the coriander. Really good. <laughs> Perfect. And then you've got all of this here too. That's the egg yolk. You do the same thing. Mm. Perfect. And at the very bottom, you have the egg white. And the egg whites in these fertilized eggs, it's usually really rubbery and hard. Sometimes you get really soft ones, but this one here, it's just rubbery and hard. And I do eat it too, also. <laughs> All right, that was a fertilized chicken egg. So let's compare that to the duck eggs. This duck egg cracked when I put it in the boiling water. And so all the egg whites are out and it's good. I salted the water so it was salty. So like, this is actually soft because it's like, it poured out, <laughs> but I'm going to eat this one. Okay. So same thing, just crack the top here. It has that membrane at the top. And so you just break that off and salt in it and sip. Hmm, this is different from what I've seen before. So normally you would easily see like the bird, but this, I don't know what this is. It looks like a, just like a blob. Oh, oh. <laughs> holy crap. This entire thing is the bird. It's so big. Holy crap. This is huge. Yeah. All of that. That's the bird. I'm not sure if it's focusing. Oh, oh, there you go. Wow. There you go. There's the duck <laughs> embryo. <laughs> some salt pepper grab some of these leaves <clears throat> mm. oh yeah that's so good so when I was a kid I ate the egg yolks for my parents whenever we ate like duck eggs like this they would always give me the egg yolks so they didn't give me the bird and I was already kind of freaked freaked out already too um it was a visual issue for me i was really scared to eat one 
And so I never did until I was like 18 um, when I visited Vietnam and a cousin of mine told me to eat it, try it. And I tried it and it was really good. And, um, and then I finally kind of got over the fact that I was eating like a duck embryo and uh, like a tiny bird, you know? And then, um, because there's no flavor issue. Like all of this that I'm eating right now tastes amazing. It has its own unique taste. It does have some familiar taste also because if you've had eggs before, kind of can tell like it's an egg, but it has its own unique sort of flavor and aroma also. And duck eggs are so much more creamier too. It was really, really fantastic. Yeah, this duck egg, the duck itself, the embryo, really large. <laughs> this was left out for a while. So like the embryo was like twice the size of, of the chicken. But I mean, the egg itself is like twice the size anyways. So, you know, you can see a huge difference between the size of the eggs. And this one is really soft. The egg white is really, really soft. The egg white is soft, but it's, it doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> it literally tastes like rubber. <laughs> no, like it doesn't taste like rubber. The texture is like rubber and it tastes like like really mild. It doesn't have much of a taste. Hmm. Yeah, but whenever it's soft like this, it's good. So yeah, the fertilized duck egg, two days. I think the others that I have, I can let it sit for maybe two, three more days and maybe it'll grow really big. I don't know, we'll see. All right, well, that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned something. Growing up, I knew that there were fertilized duck eggs because I ate them all the time. But then all of a sudden, maybe a couple years ago, my parents introduced me to fertilized chicken eggs. Never knew that it was a thing that people ate also. And so it's really cool. Um, if you're able to find fertilized chicken eggs, give it a try or even duck eggs. The, the, ducks, the duck eggs are a lot more easier to find. It's a lot more common. So you can just go to like a Asian food market and a lot of times you will be able to find them or at least at very least request for them. Uh, but these were, f were found by my parents at um, a farmer's market. Yeah, by a local farmer. Well, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button, consider subscribing. Check out some of my merch on my spread shop. And if you're interested, check out my newest possum video. Uh, it's where I actually like kill it, gut it, skin it, and process it fully. And uh, I do a lot better job this time than the previous time. It was the second possum that I caught uh, last year. I never really got around to like editing the video because it was just a lot of work. And I kind of didn't want to bring up all those emotions again too while editing the video uh, because it's not a fun thing to do, you know? And so, yeah, it took me a while to finally edit it. it. That video is not being monetized because I just can't. I like to post it anyways because it does help other people learn. And hopefully you're able to utilize that video as a as sort of like a reference if you ever need to do something like that. So, yeah, I appreciate you watching the video and hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, and hope to see you next time. All right. Peace out.